Where is my hat? Oh, here it is. I really wanted to finish this movie. I thought I could. We were so close. It would have been my magnum opus, the most important thing that I'd ever worked on. And as coronavirus continues to grow and expand throughout this country, I just think, what will my impact be? I don't have to wonder anymore. It's this, it's this film. This is my impact. For everyone who worked on it, thank you. For everyone who avoided working on it, thank you as well. Sit back, relax, enjoy uh, what could have been the director's cut, I guess, of Hut Hut Hostage. We open on a crowded party scene with music blasting and people moving around at a rampant pace. It's the night before the NFL draft and star tight end Alize Mack is ecstatic about his potential high draft status. For precaution, he's been assigned a security detail to ensure no mishaps occur before the biggest night of his life. Unfortunately, he's been assigned a remarkably lackluster duo to keep him safe. This is where we see our two cops, Elaine Mitchell and Clark Johnson, no relation, the grizzled and troubled Elaine is less than enthusiastic to be on the job with the inept and oblivious Clark. With things seemingly going as expected, Elaine needs to spice up a Monday night out. Jeez, it was sure nice for Elise to invite us to his house before the NFL draft. What are you talking about, rookie? First of all, it's Alizé. Second of all, we drew security detail. Is this the kind of action you were looking for? Oh boy, are you kidding? My first day on the field and they put me with the top draft prospect. Cool your jets, kiddo. This is just professional babysitting. You get the same thrill from eating soup on a Tuesday. All I'm saying is I've dreamed about getting a gig like this. Well, while you play out your little law and order fantasy, I'm gonna go powder my nose for a second. Woo! Back to work, baby! Suddenly, we hear a large thud and girlish scream from the outside. <coughs> Elaine realizes that there's some heat going on from outside and better bust her ass to get back. She takes the pile of cocaine left on the counter and sloppily slides it all back into her pocket before leaving the room. Camera cuts to Clark. He's dazed, confused, and clearly hurt. Elaine comes storming back in to assess what her drug-fueled habits made her miss. Newbie, I left you alone for five minutes and you already got clocked. What the fuck did you do? Big man. Lead pipe. Dennis racket. Bucket of fondue. Out with it, you fetus! They took Alejandro. Elaine stands up and frantically looks around as people are screaming and panicking in every direction. We pan to see a man sprinting out of the room clearly highlighting his guilt and urgency to get the fuck out. Elaine grabs Clark by the arm and pulls him up, getting them ready for the action they both crave. You wanted to be a cop? Here's your shot, bucko. We're going after that son of a bitch. Elaine, unprompted, shoots her gun in the air twice and sprints towards the exit. I picked a bad day to contract athlete's foot. We see a trunk close and two men hop into the side doors and slam them shut. Clark and Elaine get outside as the car is pulling away. They see two scooters laying on the ground outside the house and quickly realize this is their only option at catching the car. They're tailing them for a while before the car pulls around the corner and skirts away. Meanwhile, the two cops are kicking as hard as they can for a while before eventually giving up. They throw the scooters on the ground and in anger Elaine shoots her gun in the air yet again. 
God damn it, Clark, you couldn't shit in the toilet if it was glued to your ass. Chief is gonna have our tails for this. WSBT TV is your hometown station. is WSBT Eyewitness News. Star tight end Alizé Mack was kidnapped last night from his pre-NFL draft party. Notre Dame Police Department officers Clark Johnson and Elaine Mitchell were assigned to his security detail. Now reports confirm that Johnson was a first day officer and Mitchell was in the bathroom snorting cocaine at the time of the incident. NDPD declined a request for comment. You know, I dare anyone to give me one reason why I don't fire them two knuckleheads right now. 12 hours. Only 12 hours they've been on my ass. They're given one simple task and they go right ahead and fuck it up. Alizé Mack goes by Zay to those who know him. Good kid, smart kid. And I made the rookie mistake of putting them two in charge of him. You know, the broad, Elaine, she tells me she's securing the perimeter. Doesn't seem too secure to me. I don't want to hear any more of them bullshit excuses. I says to them, I says, I got the DA breathing down my goddamn neck. They got 48 hours to bring me some suspects. Where the hell do you get off? You don't even know anything about me, Elaine. If you knew anything about my backstory, you would know that my Uncle Ben was murdered right in front of me. That's the plot of Spider-Man. Can you just stop for a second? Because if you listen, the part after is where my parents get killed by Lord Voldemort. That's Harry Potter, you nincompoop. Can you just shut up for a second so I can tell you about my experiences being a janitor at MIT? That's the plot of Goodwill Hunting. I'm done with you. Clark Johnson. Clark, this is Roxy Diamond. Meet me at Nick's patio and bring your partner. I have some information for you. I just got a phone call from someone named Roxy telling the two of us to meet her at Nick's patio. Oh, Roxy Diamond, the most notorious lady of the night. I know exactly what she means. How do you know a prostitute? She was there for me at my darkest times. It was September 95 and my partner and I were responding to a hostage situation. We cleared the first room and there were a ton of drugs. I decided to clear them out. I mean, call them in. I sent my partner ahead into the next room. He was completely blindsided by two thugs. Died on the spot. Roxy was there, hiding in the other room. She tried to help me resuscitate him, but we failed. We've been best friends ever since that day. This is where Roxy told us to meet her. You go find her. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. All right, listen here, Roxy. I'm not here for your weekend special because unlike you, my story might not have a happy ending. Excuse me? Oh, you're playing hardball now? Spill the beans, toots! Hey, man, where do you get off? We're on a date here, a third date. My mistake. Looking for me, sweet cheeks. Roxy, Elaine, how, how are you? You know this temptress? Yeah, Roxy here helped me solve every case I've ever cracked. Oh yeah, by the way, did you ever figure out who done it in that littering scandal? Yeah, I did fingerprint analysis on the gum wrapper you gave me. Found a little tyke and made the most comfy reservation in Rikers Island. For the love of shit, it's a litterer, not Lee Harvey Oswald. What do you know, rookie? Now back to the topic at hand. I heard you guys royally mucked up the Alizé case. Now I know Alizé. Chief was an idiot for assigning a rookie and a firecracker like you to that. Wait, how do you know Alizé? Did you... Oh, honey, no! No, Alizé is a precious flower. We're a book club together. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, a crime like this could have only been committed by a close friend, like a really close friend. Maybe your roommate or something. Hmm, a close friend, you say? Clark, let's round up all of Alizé's buddies. Thanks, Roxy Baby. See you Sunday night for spin class. Wait, you teach spin class too? Yeah, I'm not just a prostitute. I never judge a book by its cover. <gasps> Roxy!
Roxy. The streets won't be the same without you. All right, Elaine, I think it's time for a little good cop, bad cop. And obviously, I'm the bad cop. Who we got first? It says here, uh, Kevin Conway, freshman year roommate. Why'd you take Alzen? Okay, obviously you are the bad cop here. I did. I'm afraid of the kid. The kid's double my size. After freshman year, I don't invest in a Bowflex. Get out of my sight, fuzzbag. All right, next up on here, Liam McCarthy, junior year roommate. Alizé, I don't like the man. Come into my shop, steal my things, make love to my wife. That is my job. Get him out of here. What's with the accent? Cut the jive. All right, get out of here, Liam. Next up, Sarah Pieslack, girlfriend. Wait, he's missing? That's why he hasn't answered any of my texts. Wait, Elaine, if he was taken yesterday, I was doing blow with okay, you. Okay, okay, great, thanks. You have an alibi. All right, and for our last suspect. <laughs> We've crossed you off as a suspect hours ago. Thank you. They'd exhausted all the suspects. Every friend, and I mean every friend. I mean every single friend. None of them were the ones who captured Arlie Z. Hey, have you guys interviewed Melvin O'Shaughnessy? Who? Melvin, his Twitter feed is blowing up with tweets like, I kidnapped Alize, he won't abandon me like I abandoned him, and I'm keeping him at my house, come to this address. Wow, how did we miss that? Is there anyone that could help us break in? Oops, that's the torch. So what you gotta do is go in stealthy and enter through the front door. Okay, and? What? We go through the front door and? No, that's it. You guys should be good from there. We just walk in the front door? How else do you enter a house? So what was the point of this? I don't know, man. We have the budget for this, so why would we not? And this guy in the corner? He's not cutting the lights or disabling the alarms? He's doing something else? Let's do this then. Okay, let me jump. Bye. You guys ready to rock and roll? Let's go. You take the right, I'll take the left. All clear! I have the shot! Elaine, wait! <coughs> no! Nice shooting, partner. Let's go find Alze. Oh, right there! Well, well, well. It's about time you... Up. Clear the voice box, clown! We're here and we only want two things. Alize and justice. I'd hate to break it to you officers, but after Wimbush, there's not a chance I'm giving up one of my best friends. You're loony. We interviewed literally every single friend he's had, and you were never even an inkling of a thought. Why do you want him? Me? Not his friend? You're more lost than the atheists at church. You see, we are roommates junior year. I'd let him use my Xbox, I did all his laundry, I even slept in his clothes when he had away games. I'd set my alarm for 30 minutes every single night just so I could watch him breathe. The cold grip of stunning broad took me away from him briefly. And now the NFL is trying to do it again. I can't get rid of that tight end. So I took him! You're a madman. I'm just in love. Get it! Oh, you guys can use this.
looks like you just got your dose of vitamin gel. And so it is my distinct honor to recognize the brave police work of two of our finest officers at the NDPD. Even though this was the mess they caused, Clark Johnson and Elaine Mitchell have done phenomenal work in the search and safe rescue of Alizé Mack. It is my distinct honor to present them with their jobs back. Thanks, Chief. Just doing our job. You two did some mighty fine work out there. Unorthodox and, at times, incredibly illegal. But not every case can be solved by the book. I know this was my first case, but I already feel like I need a vacation. Not so fast there, rookie. I got another hot one for you two heroes. We got a man downtown who says they're running an Adderall ring and he's dealing out of the back of J.W. Chen's Chinese cuisine. Need you boys to go down there and crack some skulls. What do you think, partner? Ready to bash some skulls and give them three hot in a cot? Ready as I'll ever be. I was perfect in that I'm one, sorry. Eric. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 